Welcome back to the Real Quick with Mike Swick podcast. Today, I thought it'd be cool to check in on my longtime friend and teammate, Luke Rockhold, before training. Uh, he's getting his body back together, training at the Ruka Gym uh, as we speak. And I thought I'd drop in and uh, bring him on. He's got Cheeto Vera there, the whole team. Um, so, yeah, I, I love uh, I love my podcast with Luke. They're always fun, and uh, I like to catch him in weird times. So <laughs> this is going to be one of them. I like to catch him on the run. That's our That's our thing, I guess. But uh, let's talk to Luke. All right, what's up, cowboy? <laughs> what are you doing, said dude? that the wasn't sure about this. All right, so where were you at? Are you at Ruka? Yeah, Ruka. Nice. Perillo, McKenzie's in there doing a the thing. Cheeto there? Cheeto, Cheeto, Cheeto's doing it. What's up? How you doing, McKenzie? How are you? Let's see. Your dog? Uh, I, yeah, it's my dog. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I, my, you know, Mike. Sad Mike. Hey, what's up? Hey, Mike. How, how are you? Woo! Good. What's up? The real way to do podcast, dude. On the run. All right, let me sit down for me, Luke, and let me let me uh catch up with you, brother. I'm here. I'm I'm here for you, brother. Ah, you always got to just be difficult and shit. All right. So, how you been doing, man? I've been good. I've been good. I'm. Uh, it's good to be good to be uh, back training. Get get some of my health back and uh, get into business. Yeah. So you finally realized that, that that modeling life is not near as glamorous as face punching, and you came back. Is that what happened? <coughs> I just miss fighting. Uh, fighting. Fighting is just fun. It's fucking awesome, right? You're thirty. You're fucking thirty-five, bro. You have plenty of time to fight still. Yeah, the world is boring as fuck. And I need some excitement. <laughs> Your world's not boring, dude. Stop. That's what I'm going <laughs> to ask you. Stop. Hold up. Hold up a minute. That's what I'm going to ask you. Like, okay, so when you've been taking your time off and fucking steer dogging in Montana and all this shit that you've been doing, please tell me you carried a camera and you're having some reality show that's coming out about you, like the retirement of Luke Rockhold or something. Please tell me that's happening. You know, I, I, it's, uh, I like to live life. And Mike, Mike, yeah, I like to live life. And there, there's, there's always something in the oven. We're always we're always brewing. Are you a cowboy now or what? Because it, dude, I've steer dog before. I've thrown some steer, some calves around, and let me tell you, that shit ain't easy. It ain't for city folks. Steer steer wrestling. You I know, know what I mean? I like I like to find the the thing that's the most challenging in life, and I like to overcome it. That's 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 all how I've always been. That's how I will always be. But you had to have done it. That wasn't your first day. The the video on Instagram. You had to have worked a little bit on that. That's something you can't just go do, bro. Come on. I grew up in Texas. Are you kidding me? Dude, you get that brown water in you? <laughs> hey, everything's possible. <laughs> so, all right, dude. So you're coming back and... uh won't let me win that damn steer wrestling competition. I, I lost. I took second place two years in a row. Really? Two years in a place by one second. Yeah, but you're a model and a fighter. It's not like you're a professional cowboy. Like, don't be disappointed because you got a, a, a silver, like, for once in your life. It ain't first, you're last. Oh Jesus! All right, so uh, so first, uh, what uh, what do you think about DC retiring? That's are you trying to be the last man standing of the OGs of AKA now? Is that what it is? is that why you are coming back, bro? Is DC that... DC every time from the golf course to show me his shitty ass swing. <laughs> Did you see that? I I didn't say it was shitty, bro. I didn't say it was shitty, but it was funny. I love watching him swing a golf club or a golf club. I can't even talk. <laughs> hey, the best. He, uh, so yeah, he had he had his first ever birdie putt yesterday. He Facetime me. Nice. And then like he he was uh, he was golfing with a uh, with uh, Michael Lazy, and uh, and he made it. Lazy had to go jump in the in the, this dirty ass creek. <laughs> Missed it by about this much. It's no birdie. For but he's DC having or. fun, man. He's having fun. And uh, you think he's coming back like you? Or I mean, he can't. He's he's done. I think he's done this time. I think, I think it, it might be the end of it for DC. You yeah. know what I mean? He's got the whole family. He's got another one on the way. He's got he's he got his hands full with. Uh, with the, with all the commentary and and uh, we've got some cool stuff planned. And I know we're, we're we're talking about going to Dubai together and bring back the old times a little bit. Have a little little ebony and ivory trip, you know. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, dude. What about uh, who are you eyeing? Are you eyeing anybody, or are you just coming back? You don't care. What's uh, up, Cheeto? He's got a little muffin top right now, buddy. He's got. It's, it's okay. nice. It's, it's, his, wife's, it's his wife's birthday. Chocolate. <laughs> hey congratulations on your fight bro thank you man appreciate you good stuff 
what what do you, what did you think about that? What 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 did you think about the that whole uh the fight and how it ended and and uh where you're at right now? I feel good. I'm in good spirits, man. It was uh, you know, I kick his leg harder than he kicked mine and his leg, <laughs> you know, shut down, you know. It's like a liver on the face, you know. Yeah. So I was was done. And was it nice my, getting such a a win over such a big hyped guy like that? Yeah, there was there was a lot of lights on him and then all those lights just changed yeah, they the did. <laughs> right. Well, hey, again. congratulations, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Absolutely, it, man. It's in Thailand, yeah. Oh, live, live from Thailand. That's fucking It's true. like, what, hey. time, what time is it right now? What time it's, is it right now? It's man? 1 a.m. because, dude, you always put me off, dude. It's like we started like 8, and then it's 9, what? 10, 11, 12, and it's oh, 1 a.m. Now. Now, now you got you a little muffin top over here. I know. Same thing Cheap with top. me. I tell him, hey, bro, let's train at 9.30. I get all my boxing with Parillo. My homie shop is 11.06. I don't know. I know he's pretty, but you know you cannot shop that late. <laughs> oh, especially for a young sir that you know wants some advice from a former champion. All that, <laughs> all that gold that kind of weighs me down when I get out of bed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. he does on his way. He's on his fucking yeah, way. He's, he's, yeah, he's, that's, yeah, he's on his way. For tribal, sure. tribal cut. Where does, where does this originate I'm, from? I'm, I'm a where does this come from? Where does this come from, Chito? Fucking Vikings. Dude. I'm a Viking. <laughs> Did you say Vikings? <laughs> Vikings. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, dude. When is your training? How long do you have to your training? Uh. I'm, I'm going in here. Mackenzie's doing a thing right now with Perillo. I'm, I'm going to mess around afterwards and I'm gonna get some little ice bath action. Just so a couple things real fast. So what, what's your take on, uh, since you're coming back to the middleweight division, first, do you have anyone you're eyeing at all or you're just coming back? And then what do you think about Stylebender versus Costa? That fight, like like break that fight down. Uh, I think I think it's 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 the bull and the matador. You know, uh, I, I, Costa is a force to be reckoned with, no doubt. He's gonna come forward, but it's about how how style. He's got some very like funky, weird angles. He he bends and and operates differently. It's not always like correct, but like he's 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 so good, he gets away with it. So can he avoid that those big shots and uh, can cost the land? I don't know, man. It's, it, it is that is that fifty fifty kind of fight. I think anyone, either one, can take it. Are you excited to jump back in? I am, man. I am. I'm, I'm very excited. I think there's a lot of lot of fun opportunities, and uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm curious to get health. I want to get healthy, and then I, I just want to I want to test myself. And I want to push myself, and uh, and I, I see a lot of good opportunities to where I can I can go back to, to to being myself. How far is that away? Like, how are you doing on your body right now? Um, I would say like early next year. I mean, realistically, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it. I'm gonna let everything really like solidify, heal up, so I can come back and I can, I can be the best I can be. And what do you think about this big fight with uh, Kobe Covington and Tyron Woodley? Is that a big fight? I don't know. Kobe, <laughs> Kobe ain't no big fight. <laughs> uh, well, just for Tyron, because Tyron wants to kill him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know. I mean, it's good. It's got the good eight, the ATT whatever thing vibe that they got going. Um. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think, I think it's it's interesting, you know. It's interesting to see who's gonna come up on top, and you know, the couple, uh, couple dudes that've been in the game for a bit. So, uh, T, you know, Tyron's my my boy, and I, I wish the best for my hope he like he puts his men into a into you know a place he he deserves to be. And then uh, my buddy Evan said to ask you, has a local at Steamer Lane ever, or is, is a kook at Steamer Lane ever came up to you and tried to fight you on the beach? <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? This is French uh, to me, bro, so I don't know. This is a surfing thing. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> why don't you ask, why don't you ask, what'd you just, what'd you just ask me? He said, ask, has a kook. Oh, Has wait. a kook at Steamer oh, Lane it, ever came up and tried to fight you on the beach and not know who you were? A kook at Steamer Lane come up and try to fight me on the beach? Uh, no, nah, I serve I serve the east side. I serve the point. So he's wrong. What an <laughs> asshole. He just set me up for to look I'll stupid. Slap, I'll slap any kook at the fuck on the west side. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. So he set me up to look stupid. Fucking Evan, dude. All right. That's it. He's fired. Uh, I used, I used uh, Steamer Lane. No, no, nobody at Steamer Lane. He said you were at Steamer Lane. He's like a surfing guy. I think he's just wondering if, if anyone ever tried to fight you and didn't know who you were, and then you obviously uh, had to, like, pull out your belt and slap him or something. 
No, no, it's, you never want to fight in the water, but I've, I've, I've had my fair share. I've had my fair share, and, uh, you know, might have, might have, you know, put me in the situation I am today. All right, man. Well, I just want to call and check up on you, dude, and I, and I know I caught you before training and everything, but uh, when are you coming back to Thailand? Because you said you're going to wait till early next year to fight. Um, then you're going to come to Thailand, hang out with your boy here at uh, AK Thailand in Phuket or what? Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta get back in the snake pit. We gotta. You gotta redeem yourself. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You you, <laughs> you set me up, motherfucker. And then and then I almost died. I was in. I was in a. Somehow I'm hanging out with you, and then I'm in a snake pit with three fucking cobras striking at me, and all you hear is you laughing at me. And then it occurs to me. Then and only then it occurs to me that I'm the joke of this fucking whole ordeal. Like this is the. This, I'm the joke of this. Let's do it, Mike. Come on. <laughs> so yeah that's fun what's up man what's up brother how you doing man join everyone's everyone's joining the podcast everyone's joining the podcast yeah dude it's like the biggest bro, podcast bro. ever bro, what's bro. up dude hey, how you doing hey, man he's, how are you? Oh, he's, he's wet. working he's working look at this dude those like, other podcasts they just have I one just, fighter on and or like one trainer Thailand, losers one oh god god bless thailand you guys are awesome man <laughs> All right, brother. I'll let you get to training, man. But hey, thanks for uh, taking time out for me, and it was great checking in with you. And uh, I'll keep, I'll stay in touch, and uh, we'll we'll do the next podcast. We'll do in your truck uh, while you're driving, like we started this one. All right, I'll see you in Thailand, hundred percent. I promise oh. you that. <laughs> All right, brother. Get back. All right, brother. Much love. Hey, take care, and uh, have a good training session. Take care of your body, man. Always do. All right, brother. All right, there we go. Luke Rockhold, he seems to be in good spirits and coming back for the right reason, just wants to fight. He's 35 years old, no reason why he shouldn't fight again. Um, yeah, he just misses it, and I think the division is very interesting right now. So I think having him come in early next year is going to be uh, fascinating to, to see what he can do. Um, he's had some time off, obviously enjoyed it. I think he's had his fun, and it looks like he's ready to start training again. His body's getting better. I uh, said he's going to come back early next year. Uh, we got to talk to Cheeto Vera. Cheeto Vera is very uh, happy, obviously, and rightfully so. Big win over Sugar Sean. Um, and, uh, yeah, everything seems good. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you're on YouTube, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, this was a little bit shorter, but just had to check in with my boy. Um, I knew he was available, and, and I wanted to, to just drop in and at least get something from him. I uh, missed talking to him, and I thought I'd just share it with you guys instead of just making a call. Um, and if you're wondering about that gym we were talking about, uh, that he's going to come to very soon, AKA Thailand, that he always comes to in Thailand. Um, and he also models for, you think he's a model for Polo Blue, but he actually models for AKA Thailand as well. Um, he doesn't know it, but we put him everywhere we can because if he's good enough for Polo, he's good enough for AKA Thailand. And we save like hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, but if you are not familiar with AK Thailand, here is a commercial. And we got 30% discount going on right now, people. Like, I don't think you understand. First of all, let me just explain one thing. If you want to come to AK Thailand, if you want to come to Thailand, if you're just sick of being in quarantine, you're sick of your wife, you're sick of your husband, you're sick of your, you're watching the same shows over and over, you want to take a break, um, I can hook you up. I can get you a six-month or a 12-month visa to Thailand and just escape for a year, live life a little bit, you know? Come uh, come make some memories that's going to last forever and uh, train while you're at it. And I will also, to make things better, give you a 30% discount on your training at the world's premier luxury training resort, highest-rated gym in the world. I will save you 30% off your training, which will probably pay for your plane ticket, especially if you come for six months or a year. Um, that's going on right now. It expires never. So if you want to book, uh, your 30% discount right now and then use it in two years from now, there's no problem. Just book it. It never expires. It's the biggest sell we've ever had. The biggest sell we're ever going to have. Uh, it's at akthailand.com. You can just go to the website. Everything's already set up. Uh, if you want to just get a visa with us and, and enroll in our school and, and have us take care of everything, your accommodation, we have a restaurant on site. We'll give you food. We'll give you training. Uh, we'll, we'll do VIP transport to and from the airport. You literally just book your flight and we can cover the rest. Email us at info at akthailand.com. And if you want to see what I'm talking about because you haven't seen AK Thailand yet, here's a commercial. What's up, everybody? I am here in Thailand. This is the first time I've ever been here. Been dying to come here for years. 
Mike Swick. He's one of the big reasons he's been trying to pull me down here. What he built down here, AKA Thailand, is incredible. There's people here from all over the world. You can train mixed martial arts here, jujitsu. They have weightlifting, they have cardio, and obviously they have Muay Thai, boxing, everything. I'm telling you guys, I know everybody wants to go to Thailand because Thailand's so cool, but you can't come to Thailand without coming to AKA Thailand. Come on. Thanks for watching. We appreciate all the support, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Your best profiles when you're looking at the camera, bro, not the road. <laughs>